After leaving Exmouth, we continue exploring the Ningaloo coast, with stays at South Tafoya Bay at Ningaloo Station and 14 Mile Camp at Warrora Station. We head down to Carnarvon for two nights and then go to the Shark Bay region, staying in Denham and finishing up at Goorley Bluff. We've just done the turn off from the main road into Ningaloo Station and this road has got quite a reputation for being pretty rough so we'll see how we go. It does. We have heard recently that the grader was working on it so that's a positive sign. There was a bit yeah. of a scary sign as we came through the, the gate there that just said no there is a high chance your vehicle will sustain damage. <laughs> <laughs> Post who hangs out here for the last 20 odd years he said it hadn't been great for about 15 years, so it had been very rough for people, but now it's, it's great. swim, Mark was out on the reef snorkeling and then a three metre shark swam past just a few metres offshore, did a couple of laps backwards and forwards in front of us so we decided maybe that was it for us for swimming and snorkeling this afternoon, waved Mark in and now we're digging a huge swimming pool, shark free for the kids. Just coming out of the caravan this morning to an absolutely stunning morning here on the beach but it wasn't so stunning all yesterday or last night was it Mark? It's been very windy and we've become part of the sand dynamics dune system. <laughs> we sure have. When we pulled up we were a relatively flat spot here. What you'll see around the other side is a whole bunch of scour from the other side of the caravan undermining our stabiliser legs and everything depositing onto this side of the van. There's our hose, you can see how much that's buried underneath. Stabiliser legs aren't doing much good anymore. Van was a rocket, now I know why. This was all dug into the sand, now it's scoured out. Wow, what a night. It was blowing a gale here. Where are we off to now, Jane? Aurora, or something like that station. Aurora Station, I think it is. 14 miles, supposed to be a good camp, although another beach camp after all that wind. I don't know if I can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers <laughs> crossed it's a bit sheltered. Something could happen last night, by the way. Doggy, doggy, doggy. Woof, woof, woof. We're in the grand final. <laughs> How special is this? Pretty incredible. 14 mile campsite 
20 metres from the water, maybe something like that. White sand, turquoise water. Couldn't get much better than this, could you, Daniel? Yeah. <laughs> and a fresh ocean breeze, as That's they right. call it. That's right. What's happened to you? You look like you've been in a fight. For the last four days, I had an the roof. I lost two teeth in a row, and then there was another day, and I lost this. And here, so you've and lost three teeth in four days. Four teeth on this bit, and all together I lost six teeth in my life. It's amazing. And how did you lose these teeth? Did they just uh, fall out by themselves? So one I swallowed. Oh, what? <laughs> and well, which I keep on doing, I did it with another one too. And the other one, and another one. I am a punch it out. We're playing Tiggy and it ran into my nose. Oh. And the next one this morning I was eating veggie my toast and before it went down my my tooth went down my front, I felt something chewy and I quickly grabbed it. Oh and it's a tooth. Well the tooth fairy will be very busy around here. <laughs>
after being 58,000th in the queue, we didn't manage to secure a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Doggy, doggy, doggy. So most nights, Jane and I jump into the van after the kids have gone to sleep and we've been watching Sea Change, an old ABC series, set in Pearl Bay and they have constant issues with their bridge. Well, an ovens jetty reminds me a lot of Sea Change and their bridge. Closed until further notice. Their antagonists are constantly trying to get funding to get it up and they've had no luck so far. Good luck, Carnarvon. Colourful tropical fish. It's insane, so many different varieties. ground. That's right, and are they old amber or are they just only... They're actually very, very old, but the water is so salty that animals, like sharks and stuff, don't want to come in here. Yeah, you can, so they're three and a half billion years old, these things. They essentially look like rocks, but they're living algae and the like. Such a shame it's been damaged by the cyclone, but it's good to be here anyway, because I've seen it on nature documentaries and finally we're here, one of only two places in the world. Awesome in the Bahamas is the other spot where you can see it apparently. It's a bit of a wild ride in. Was. Very soft sand in patches, but it's a big hummocky area, so you couldn't go too fast, otherwise you'd bottom out. Um, but if you were too slow, you'd almost get bogged. We didn't get bogged, we're very lucky, other people did. So, cross the fingers we can get through this day without having to get the max track set. Behind Amber there, but
we've just come to the end of the walk. We're at Cape Perone. The wildlife here is amazing. In the space of about 10 minutes, we've seen multiple dolphins, a dugong, and possibly even a shark. Beach, and instead of sand, what have we got? They're all the same little cockle shell. Just having our maths lesson on estimation and sampling for homeschool today. What are we doing here, guys? So, Peg was taking a big handful of shells, which was spread out here. We each had to have a guess beforehand how many shells there be. Any guess? Ten. Amber guess. One hundred and eight. And you'll get. I guess eight hundred, and you get. One hundred and fifty. Okay, so sampling that we would estimate was about five hundred and sixty shells. So who wins? And where have we landed tonight? Ho, 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 ho. Not a bad spot to land for a night. Unfortunately, we have to share this tight spot with three other campers. Yes, indeed. There's someone right next to us. Over there. And I think there's two other down there somewhere.